Hello brother, uh, what's up? This morning I'm going to show you how I do the intestinal cleaning. Um, last night I did the liver cleanse, the gallbladder flush with the Epsom salts and the grapefruit juice with olive oil. Uh, and I did my Epsom salts in the morning as well. Now it's time to flush everything and clean everything. And this is another technique in itself. It's a pretty intense technique and uh, normally you have to be very careful when you do it. You have to be really prepared. Um, please get advice from an expert, a yogi, uh, who, who is experienced with this kind of things. I'm doing this cleanse for more than 10 years and I really love it. Uh, it resets all your gut bacteria. So after that, you have to really take care of yourself. The first day, the first meal are vitally important. You can really hurt yourself. You can really go into trouble if you're not following uh, the rules. For example, the first, first 48 hours, spices are uh, forbidden. Alcohol, meat, eggs, dairy, um, except butter, because butter is necessary. Um, they're all forbidden. So first 24 hours, you cannot eat raw food because your digestive system is completely uh, starting over. So you cannot eat even salads or fruits. The first 24 hours, you, have, you can eat only cooked vegetables. Okay? And the, right after I finish this practice, I'm going to eat my rice with some butter. And that's the first meal that cannot be even vegetables. It has to be rice or pasta. No spices, no sauces, just simple uh, butter together with it. Okay? The rice is to open up your intestine columns and the butter is to make it uh, slippery, okay? Because your intestines can get stuck into each other. So this is, the, this is the most important part after this practice, okay? So you have to prepare everything. You, you will be very tired. You need to do it on a day that's going to be a rest day for you, like a Sunday or something, uh, because you will see, you will really drain your energy a lot. This You're resetting your whole digestive system, so it's going to be very, very intense on you. Uh, I need you to take care of yourself, okay? So these are the precautions. Uh, if you are confused, if you want to try this technique, contact me or contact an expert, or at least watch this video very carefully and make sure that you apply all these rules. Um, okay, I'm going to keep doing, uh, start doing it and then keep talking at the same time. So, um, what I need, I need uh, hot water and cold water so I can mix them and bring it to a good temperature because I'm going to be drinking warm water, uh, ideally my body temperature, not too hot, not too cold. And also I'm going to need salt. And I'm using red, this Himalayan salt. Okay, ideally a healthy kind of salt. And why I need salt? Because um, due, to, due to the principle of osmosis, if the water is salty, if the salt level of the liquid is higher than my body, then what happens is that my body doesn't suck this water and this water will just go through my intestines and I want to create an artificial diarrhea, okay? It's going to be a full-on diarrhea this morning. My toilet door is open, I'm going to rush there and come back here. Like It's, a, it's like you, have, you need a little, a, a few stations, okay? You need to... Uh, have this like kettle boiling the water, making it mixing with cold water, mixing it with salt. You know, this station is necessary. Toilet is your another station, and then you gotta do some exercises to move the water down. Okay, I'm gonna show them to you as well. Uh, but here's the thing: I'm doing it for more than a decade, and I don't need to do them. I'm just gonna demonstrate them to you. So, okay, let's get going. So one uh, teaspoon of salt, okay, and I put a little bit of boiled water, okay, I need another, another teaspoon not to mix the one, not to wet all the salt, so I mix it, of course this is going to be too hot because the water is just boiled, so I'm adding like 20% uh, of the glass and it's a cup because it's going to be hot like normal glass can break so 20% of it is boiling water and then I add the rest with cold water and I think this is even still too hot 
too hot and a little bit too hot and a little bit too salty. Mm. So I can add some more cold water to make it warmer and less salty. So you've got to experiment with these things. It's not going to, it shouldn't be very salty. It shouldn't be too salty. Just salty enough so that osmosis works. And once you're ready, you need to be dynamic, okay? During this practice, you cannot lay down. You have to always stay um, erect so that the water keeps going down your bowels, okay? So don't lose time. Try to keep a dynamic flow. More salt. I'm going to drink the second glass now. This is not just a normal glass. It's a little bit bigger than normal. So... Normally, you would drink one glass and do the exercises, but I'm a little bit hardcore guy, so I'm going to drink two glasses. Salty water. And I'm going to need to drink like this one and a half, two liters, maybe even a lot more. Okay. I'm going to continue until uh, what comes out of my ass is what comes into my mouth. Almost like, you know, like just pure water. It's not easy to get to that point uh, because your gold leather keep, will keep creating um, goals. Mm -hmm. A bit too salty, yeah. If, you're, if your salt is, if your water is too salty, um, you might get stuck very quickly. Your stomach will not be able to... Uh, let the water pass through and you, you might feel like vomiting, you're like, what's going on? And then it's a sign that you need to stop, um, you, you're stuck. So what you need to do is do these exercises that I will show you right now. And then after that, maybe do a reverse pose, like a shoulder stand, okay? That will help you to move the water. Or you can massage your belly a little bit, okay? I will also demonstrate that. So my second glass. Okay, so here are the movements. The first one, lift your arms up and you just move side to side. Okay? Do it like five to six, seven, eight times on one side. And then, okay, for the second one, my arms are a bit too tall, but you basically, Turn your butt around like this. These movements help the water go down. The water to go down so that they don't get stuck. The water doesn't get stuck. Okay. And the following ones are a little bit tricky. They are to be done on the floor. I didn't bring my yoga mat here, but I'm sure I can show you here. So it's like you come to like a push-up position. Okay. And then you turn to one side and then to the other side. Okay. We'll show you the other way. Like this. Okay. Again, five to eight times for each side. All right. And then the fourth one is like this. Okay, you come to an Asian squat. Now you hold your uh, left knee with your left arm, left hand, and you push it down. And you turn to the right as much as you can. And then you go to the other way. This is like... Each of these exercises is like from top to bottom, moving the water downwards, okay? So this is for the water to move in the bottom part of my intestines. If you have flexibility problems, you can just do it like that, like this, 
turn like that and then turn the other way okay so these are the exercises normally you're supposed to be doing them um, all four exercises after each class but I'm hardly doing them anymore if you feel like you don't have vomiting feelings that the water is going well like you can go to the toilet you don't have constipation the diarrhea already started you can do it after two glasses all right and if you feel you're stuck what you're gonna do is uh, like as I explained just before uh, if you have this vomiting feelings the water is not going down it's stuck in your stomach you can do these exercises two times like each one of them and then you finish you go back to the beginning and you do them again this can help secondly what can help is you do this abdominal massage okay uh, yeah I feel the water is moving first to one direction for one minute and then the other direction for another minute and if it, this doesn't work as well uh, I won't be able to show it to you here because uh, I don't have my mat uh, just do the shoulder stand okay just just google what is shoulder stand and just do that just stay there for a minute it will help you and then keep going and keep going and keep going so um, i'm going to end this video now and <laughs> keep doing my thing uh, just to finalize this uh, technique it's called shanka prakshalana you can google that shanka prakshalana and there could be a lot of different formulas and precautions and whatnot on the internet how to finish this technique or how, when you understand you finish this technique is um, as I said the diarrhea continues and then what comes out of your ass is just water okay it doesn't have to be uh, just uh, plain water it could be yellowish water and that's kind of fine but normally I continue a little bit a few more glasses after that to make sure that I'm really clean and then after your, you drink your last glass, you have to have your timer with you and set the timer for half an hour. So the first half an hour, you need to rest. You cannot take anything in your body. But the second half an hour, you must, I repeat, you must eat the special meat. Uh, not meat, sorry, the, meat, the meal. Uh, after this detox, I'm blanking and spacing out a lot. So this uh, rice, okay? I cooked it yesterday, but maybe I will cook fresh today as well. And mix it with butter, a lot of butter. So make sure it's like your oil that uh, helps the butter to go down in your intestines. This is really, really essential. If you don't do this, you might be in big trouble because your intestine walls can stick to each other and you don't want that. So again, when you finish the technique, half an hour, you need to rest. And then after the second, after when the half an hour is done, you press the alarm, the timer again for another second, half an hour, and make sure in that window, you eat this meal. Like maybe you're too tired and you're like sleepy, but the alarm will wake you up. And before one hour is passed, you will, you will eat your meal. So it's also a good idea to prepare it before, or somebody helps you in the house. So I wish you all the best with this technique. It's an amazing technique. It's a life-changing technique. Frequency-wise, it's like uh, recommended to do it um, if you have never done it before, because you will see a lot of things that undigested food, tomatoes, tomato um, peels, like a lot of things will come out that you didn't think you, it was in your body. Also with a lot of type toxins. Um, so if you have never done it before, the recommendation is to do it uh, every month, once a month, um, at, 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 what, at what age you are. For example, if you are 30 years old, when you start this technique, you need to do it 30 months every month. If you are 25, 25 every month. And then you can reduce the frequency to four times per year, like at each uh, season. And one more important thing before I forget is to get some uh, pro probiotics from the pharmacy and immediately after your meal, take probiotics and start taking probiotics because your bacteria, your flora is going to be reset. So you need to start supporting your uh, microflora in your gut and continue this like for five, six, seven days. Take a lot of probiotics uh, daily. Okay. 
So again, if you have any doubt, if you, if you need any support, just don't hesitate to contact me. I'll see you in the next video.